Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Rob Dollar back with another vid. Now, before I get into this vid, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Say, yo, dollars, we love what you're doing. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel that you guys subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both those links will be in the description. Also on Snups, follow me at Dollars to God. Today, I want to talk about sports. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to switch it up. Get everybody's perspective on things. Not only shoes. I like to show my family. Fucking vlogs. I've been doing a lot of new shit on my channel. So, I want to talk about this, man. One of the best games in the regular season this year. Celtics, Warriors. Warriors lose by two points at home to the Celtics. The Celtics play tough. And that kind of, you know what I'm saying? That kind of, they can still break the record. The 72 and 10 record, but the only thing it kind of prolonged it. Now, now they gotta now they gotta work harder and they gotta they gotta play through more games. Now, if I was Golden State, I would just win the regular season, stay number one, don't jeopardize none of my players' health, and just go for the motherfucking chip. You feel me? Whether I win 70 games, do if I break the record, I'm resting my players, man. What's more important is a ring. Steph Curry is pretty much locked in for the MVP. 73 wins is going to take them. How many games they got? They 68 and 8 now. They got six more games to go, meaning they have to win five of those games. And in those five games, you're jeopardizing your players' health. One big key to their, one big key to them being successful in the NBA and winning the chip again will be the health of Steph Curry. I've been watching the uh, Warriors lately, and Steph Curry looked like he's kind of wearing down. If I was dumb, i win the next four games, make sure I got home home court advantage throughout the whole playoffs, and I'll just rest my players. Leave the 72 wins to the GOAT, man. Leave that shit to Michael Jordan. Let that nigga keep that 72-10 and 10 record and just keep it moving, man, because I wouldn't jeopardize the health of my players for a, record, for a regular season record and then you hurt you, you get your player hurt, and then you don't win no chip. What's the sense of winning 73 games? I'm going for chips. I want rings. You feel me? I want rings. I do not want a fucking team that's going to only win 73 games and have nothing to show but a record of 73 games won. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about that. Would you jeopardize the health of your players just to win 73 games in a regular season to break the GOATS record, the Chicago's record, the Chicago Bulls record of 72 and 10? I wouldn't do it. Let me know what's your point of view on that, or give me your opinion, your thoughts, comment it down below. Everybody probably sleep right now. It's like, man, I got to drop this video, because tonight was an epic game. The Celtics was tough out there. That's a team that the East need to watch out for, man. Don't sleep on them Celtics, because they fucking tough. Next thing I want to talk about, this bum. Adrian Bumbrona, that's what I call him, man. Calling out Floyd Mayweather. Calling out Floyd Mayweather, man. I don't know what to say. This nigga fought a bum today. I saw the whole fight. He fought a bum. And uh, and then after he wins the fight against the bum, he goes call out Mayweather, talking about you talking shit, blah, blah, blah. I would love to see Mayweather come back, get his 50th win, beat this bum, and win another a division title. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this. Mayweather would chew this guy up for dinner. I personally think so. Let me know what you guys think, especially you guys that are into boxing. I'm into bo boxing, basketball, NFL. Like, I'm into mad shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I had to do, I had to talk about this. 73 wins, man. I'm not jeopardizing the health of my players for no 73 wins. Fuck that. Y'all can have that shit. Lead the record to the GOAT. Win the next four games. Make sure you guys have home court advantage over the Spurs. Although, I think that the Warriors can still beat the Spurs in the playoffs at, at, at the, you know, at San Antonio. I would just get home court advantage and just say, fuck the 73 wins. Me personally, I'll go for the chips, rest my players, because like I said, Steph Curry been looking real drained lately. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about that. Do you agree that drain that Steph Curry been looking drained? Is the defense turning up or is he just drained? I think he looks drained. He's moving different. And um, I wouldn't jeopardize their health for just 73 games, man. I want them chips, dick. You dick. You dick. You dick. This is Rob Dollar. I'm out of here.